Hi, I'm Nezwens and I do stuff. Recently I saw a question on Reddit uh, asking how to handle uh, mul multiple weapons switches, uh, like switching between weapons. Like, like in this example, uh, you have single shot uh, gun, now taking uh, automatic shooting gun and let's walk over here and we have a gun that has spread shot and we can go back and pick up automatic one uh, so if you want to know how to do that uh, then simply put, uh, I would put uh, a position 2D in 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 the po in the position where you want your gun to be. We will uh, make the gun as child of this position 2D, and I like to use position 2D because then in walk animation I can change the positions to match. Uh, the positions of hands well in this uh, situation hand um, so that's that and for changing getting gun or changing gun um, we, uh, we, uh, this is all uh, basic uh, platformer code but after that uh, like section section for guns gun handling so we reference our gun position or position 2d uh, then we have a dictionary of uh, each gun like key normal has preloaded normal gun key automatic has automatic gun key spread for that and then uh, we have a method function that uh, asks for gun type and we just give a key so uh, this is uh, for simple uh, two line check if uh, player already has a gun so we just check uh, childs all childs in position 2d and if it has some something in its hands uh, then we go through all of them one or none and quail free just removing the gun and here uh, we create a variable gun because guns are just sprites in this situation sprite type then just check uh, ask dictionary for the same type and make instance so now we have reference in gun variable and gun position we add a child gun that's basically it um, yeah and if you want to know a bit more um, I created a gun scene that's consisting just of sprites uh, it has its own position 2d for uh, muzzle position and position where to spawn bullet bullets a uh, timer for uh, fire rate uh, countdown and animation for initializing uh, hiding the muzzle and shot kill keeps on in it and audio stream player for triggering the sound the gun itself uh, has exported the variable for fire rate uh, it's in seconds uh, it, is it single shot and array of uh, spread angles in case uh, it's single single bullet then it's just one angle uh, you can uh, access it here and pack
packed scene for bullet scene. I like uh, this way approach that uh, in different kind of guns I can use different kind uh, bullets. Just the where is it? Uh, bullet scene. Yeah, I, I can just drag in. Like in this case, I have only one bullet. I just drag in, and it works. It's already in this in this way. Packed scenes got already pre preloaded. Okay, and there's variable uh, for can shoot and shooting balls. Um, I'm using set get for shooting in case player is the one who triggers uh, gun shooting. Uh, but in this case, I uh, wanted to have um, gun gun itself uh, handling input. Uh, so, in case. Uh, Shooting is triggered, set shooting true, if not, false. So in set shooting, I check uh, the incoming variable true or false. Uh, if it's true and can shoot, we set shooting true and can shoot to false. So we can't trigger again this variable making uh, it true and trigger method shoot and as you, as you see if we setting false then we just setting shooting as false so in shoot function we set time uh, shooting timer uh, to start it's uh, set in one shot mode and for each angle as we uh, set a angle so in case we have multiple bullets to shoot uh, for each angle uh, we create bullet bullet scene that's pa uh, f coming from packed scene we make an instance of it uh, set uh, spawner for for the bullet uh, if we, if we don't want our bullet to hit our player uh, instance in case you have like a, rico a ricochet or a homing bullets and it can go through player itself so bullet knows who created it and we set bullet uh, rotation degrees because uh, it's we are creating it as a child of gun itself it uh, inherits uh, rotation but we want to add an angle we get from spread angle so it's offset, uh, giving an uh, angle offset for each uh, angle and then we simply trigger uh, animation for uh, muzzle flash and trigger sound that's it um, then uh, for bullet let's check the bullet bullet has export for speed damage oh, okay we can put there but uh, in this example body doesn't uh, has variable for damage and we have a lifetime how long uh, uh, how long the bullet and live um, that's set on timer let's open the bullet scene okay so, so bullet itself is uh, area 2d it has collision shape sprite and timer and timer probably should be like that but uh, I think it it's working like that but also uh, so we have reference to timer, we have uh, created variable for velocity and variable to know who spawned it. In ready we create um, set timer's wait time, wait time for left time, 
from exported and we set a uh, timer to start so to find the uh, velocity I like uh, bullet to handle itself and when it's ready meaning it's uh, created in uh, S here the, at this moment when gun is instancing uh, the bullet bullet uh, triggers ready and this calculation takes in place so velocity knows its x uh, axis uh, facing if it's default uh, direction it will face to the right but if gun will be pointing up it will be rotated minus 90 degrees so bullet will inherit that and In, uh, it will inherit uh, um, global rotation uh, as we previously set the rotation degrees plus angle so the bullet will be also uh, pointing up plus uh, offset of those angles so x axis -ax -ax will be pointing in the right direction so we can reuse that to set our velocity and we time it with uh, speed and set a stop level is needed uh, for the bullet act uh, on its own uh, position we can move our player but and bullet won't be um, moving together with player well, let's check how that looks if uh, we don't set it as a uh, top level see the bullet is uh, moving the same direction as uh, player and this removes that and timer uh, we connect uh, timeout and connect the uh, area to D body entered and in physics we simply move along on that velocity and because uh, um, area 2d doesn't have a move and slide or something like that that uh, automatically use delta we uh, time the velocity with delta so in case timeout triggers we we'll just remove bullet if uh, area 2d detects body entered we check if body is actor and this, ac in this example actor is a uh, parent class for player and can be used for enemies we just check if uh, body is not the same as spawner that was set by gun and in that case uh, all actors in this example has damage method trigger that and then we remove the bullet this is all gun and bullet uh, system in this example uh, if you want to make it better I would suggest uh, making the bullet uh, as child uh, on something in the level no, uh, not uh, child of the gun or player because uh, let's see the example we take the gun we shoot 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 and as we trigger uh, changing gun the old bullets uh, disappear and they disappear because they are childs of the gun which gets uh, Actually, we can do like owner uh, child. We can take a gun. Oh, okay, something. A child. No. Oh, it's not good. Yeah. Okay, this won't work. Okay, in that case, you should. Uh, set the rotation the same uh, 
global rotation is uh, pointing the gun and oh there's more stuff to take in account uh, when you are changing uh, parent for the bullets but basically this is like your starting ground for your uh, gun bullet and uh, weapon changing system i hope you like this uh, run through tutorial if you want more please subscribe uh, leave like comment ask uh, ask uh, what troubles you have with uh, godot and you would like uh, me to cover it see you later